What's going on my fellow elegant savages and welcome back to the Savage Beer Grove journey. Now I believe this is week 11, week 12. I left off on week 9, took about two weeks off and I won't say a lot has happened but my hair is a different color and the beard has maintained and actually gotten a little bit of gains. But let's go ahead and jump into the topic of this video and that's thermal rolling if you're paying attention to the title. And I'm going to quickly go through what a thermal roller is, the pros and cons, what kind of thermal roller you should be getting and how to actually use it. So go ahead and buckle in. We're going to go ahead and get a deep dive into this and I'm going to break it all down for you all. So let's get it. So first things first, what is a thermal roller? I'm glad you asked. I actually have mine right here. So if you look at it, it's a long roller. And as you can see right here, it has these needles on it, right? You hold it like this, it has these needles. And essentially what it's made for is you roll that over different areas of your skin and it increases blood flow to that area. Now we know with that increased blood flow, blood is carrying nutrients. Those nutrients are going to help increase hair growth in that area, which is why we roll it over the beard. But I'll actually show you all something else. So y'all know I used to be a waver and even now I started wearing do-rags because of my braids. But I used to tie my do-rags way too tight and I make this face like this a lot. And so it makes these lines really, really pronounced on my head. But you can go back and look at my old videos, guys. Like those lines used to be a lot worse. But since I started running my thermal roller over it, you can look at them right now, right? And from a distance, you can't even really see them at all. So as I continue to thermal roll, it's actually tightened my skin and actually healed that, made it more taut, made it more supple. So you're not only going to be able to increase your beard growth, but you'll also be able to increase the health of your skin. Now, you know it can't be all good, so let's go through the pros and cons. Now let's start with the cons so we can finish on a high note. The cons of a thermal roller. If you get a thermal roller that the needles are not titanium, right? I think on my podcast, I think I said aluminum, and I'll show you all uh, what I'm talking about about that later but I meant to say titanium I was just getting it off the top of my head you need to make sure that it's titanium needles if it's something else like plastic or anything like that it could possibly cause an infection and irritate your skin so make sure you get titanium needles I will be linking to thermal rollers in the description below so definitely check those out if you're looking confused on what to get another con is if you have a breakout right so any type of acne and you roll over it with the thermal roller this one with the needles because there's different types the one with the needles and you puncture that uh, that pimple or whatever it is that blackhead you can actually spread the breakout across your skin so it's very very imperative that you make sure that your skin is clear in the area that you're using it that you don't have a lot of acne I always exfoliate before I thermal roll but to keep this video from being too long I'll show you all how I exfoliate probably in next week's video and the final con again you go up too high or too long of needles right so this is a 0.5 millimeter thermal roller um, if you're a beginner I would say start off with 0.25 millimeters again in the description I have both link but if you're a savage like me and you want to jump straight into it you can try 0.5 millimeters but that's where you need to stop if you go up to 0.75 millimeters you're really flirting with really damaging your skin and you need to go see a professional if you're going to get needles that are that long so I would say 0.5 millimeters or below you're fine anything higher than that you're taking a risk right I'm not a doctor so even now I'm not recommending that you try it at all I don't want to get in trouble with that but I would say if you wanted to look in where look where to start sheesh I would try 0.5 millimeters or below if it was me now pros pros again like I said you saw on my skin you're gonna get tighter skin in different areas it can actually prevent acne from popping up in different areas because you're having increased nutrients and blood flow to the area that's going to flush out toxins and I can actually prevent future breakouts and then of course why we're here is to actually grow a beard so it'll help with that so that's some of the pros and again like I said you stay with the right length and the right type of needles you can do this at home twice a week one or two times a week uh, and you'll be good all right you all so it wouldn't be a savage beard growth journey video if I didn't show you all my gains so let's jump into that real quick real real quick before we jump into this thermal rolling and this is how it looks right now this is like semi zoomed out this is the left side obviously we gotta start with the strong side Y'all see that right there, this patch of hair that's going crazy? 
Okay. It's coming, guys. It is coming. And honestly, and you see the connection area is getting even stronger. Soul patch about the same. Mustache, y'all know I trimmed that down and came back. If the rest of my face could grow like my mustache in the middle, I'd be fine. Uh, but we're, we're, we're making some progress. We're getting there. This is the right side. All right. But we're getting there. Um, and I think I'm above, uh, ahead of schedule. Like my, my goal is to really have a stubble, a connected stubble by my birthday. My birthday is in the beginning of November. Um, and I want to have it before my birthday shoot, which I'm going to do at the end of October. Right now it's the end of July. I think I can make it with this progress. And as long as I can stay on my thermal rolling, cause I've been a little bit inconsistent. If you look at my last video, when I said it looked like my beard was stagnant, I had really went two weeks with only thermal rolling, I think once out of those two to three weeks. And typically I do it twice a week. So y'all can really see I was slacking there, but let's go ahead and get into it. And I have to go ahead and start off by saying you only want to do this once or twice a week. Um, I would say start off with once a week, see how it works for your skin and then bump it up to two. If you're a savage, you can start with two, I'm a savage. Uh, but be careful with this. And then also after you do this, do not place minoxidil anywhere on your skin for 24 hours. You do not want minoxidil in these little holes. I repeat, after doing this, do not put minoxidil on for 24 hours. It'll save your life. So first thing we're gonna start off, we'll start off with the left, we'll start off the strong side. You can get this three different areas, right? We're gonna go horizontal, we're gonna go diagonal, and then we're gonna go up and down, right? That's how I do my beard. The rest of my face, like my forehead, I go up and I'll go horizontal. So I'll show you all real quick, a few strokes, and then we'll time lapse this bad boy. So we're gonna do it 10 times. So that's two, down and back is one, three. Four. Now, as you can see, I'm lifting it up off my skin each time. Now, the reason why I do this personally, eight, nine, ten. The reason why I do this personally is because you never want to take the thermal roller and go this way, right? While it's facing this way, you'll really F up your skin. So to make sure that I'm not getting too happy and kind of slightly adjusting, I lift it all the way off my skin and I reset. And then I look and I say, okay, this is where it stopped. Move it up just a little bit. And I go here into the connection area. Two, three. And you don't have to lift it up far. Y'all probably can't even tell I'm still lifting it up. Do it really slightly. Real quick, this is about as far as you want to go in terms of going up. You don't want to get into your eye bed here. It can really mess up your skin. That's a really sensitive area. So this is about as high as I go right underneath it. That's as high as I would go. All right, and we made it up to the forehead. So what I'd like to do, and I would like to preface this by saying that this is a really sensitive area of your face. So in any point of your face, really do not press down violently with the thermal roller. Just casually glide it across your skin. Now the forehead, your first time doing it, it's gonna be really, really sensitive. Um, if you're a lighter complexion, it might even look like someone slaps you on your forehead and it turns red. So I would recommend that you don't do this before you go out because it might look like you lost a fight. But go really gent gently, gentle. <laughs> and what I like to do is I'll get it right here and then I just turn my forehead. So I'll just do this. Keep it in one spot. I go right here. Still making sure I'm getting 10 down and back. One more. Down, move up just a little bit. And I go over these lines. And I'm trying to tell you all, like, these lines were a lot more pronounced. But since I started doing this, they really, really kind of disappear. Like I said, I step back, y'all can't even see them.
All right, you all, so I just finished. As you can see, that is a pretty intensive process. I actually really sped it up for you all because I didn't want you all to sit there. I might have been doing this for at least five to seven minutes, but I'm very, very careful with it because as many benefits as you can get from it, you can really, really mess up your skin. So you need to take your time. This is not something where it's like, oh, I got to rush to work. Let me do it. No, if you don't have time to do it, you don't have time to take your time. I promise you that you can do it later that night, but don't rush and mess up your skin it's gonna do way more damage than good let's look at my forehead real quick so y'all can see what i'm talking about you see how it's a little reddish you can really see that blood flow come into those sensitive areas and it's more more so just the forehead you can look at the rest of my skin and it's not like you can look at my skin and it's like look he has holes in his skin like it's not that <laughs> it's not that in depth it's not that crazy um but that is the thermal rolling video i hope that explained to you all how to do it again like i said you're going to want to go horizontal diagonal and up and down in your beard everywhere else um it's up to your sensitivity level um like i said forehead i usually just do up and then across i even get my nose a little bit sometimes too you know what i'm saying and again this is not too just grow hair right in these areas where i'm providing the nutrients from beard oils and stuff like that to supplement with this it's going to grow hair but in other areas it's just going to soften up the skin and honestly just make your skin look better make it look a little bit more radiant one last thing and one thing that i feel like really changes the game and this is something that i personally do i don't know how many other people do it but this is my little twist this is my elegant savage twist to the thermal rolling after i finish it i put a sheet mask on so again like i said i already have a video click on this card right here i already have a video on sheet masks and i'm still using those same sheet masks so if you want to pick those up Make sure you click the link in the description below. I'll have it there. But then you can also watch this video to see how to use it. But one thing for sure, like I said, you don't want to get minoxidil in these holes. But while you have these little holes in your skin, your skin is really opened up. Like I said, I exfoliated earlier. When you fall off with a sheet mask, you're getting all those nutrients deep into the skin. And I promise you all, when I take that sheet mask off, the next 24 hours, my skin is super, super soft. It's radiant and it just really, really brings everything together. So I would say add that in. Uh, one of the thermal rollers I'll link below, I think it comes with sheet mask. I never actually used those particular sheet masks, so you could try it out. Or you can try out the other ones also linked in the description. Now, if you all are not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? It's at Termar Lawton on Instagram. Again, it is at Termar Lawton on Instagram. Make sure that you're following me there because Instagram is where I'm on the most, honestly, you know, out of all my social media platforms. And that's where I'm posting my discounts for Fabletics Men. I'm one of the promoters there, my supplements, my fitness stuff. And I will be getting back on here with fitness very, very soon. But so far right now, like I said, Instagram is where I've really been plugging everything else. So if you want to learn how to become an elegant savage, literally, literally become the best version of yourself. And not just physically, right? We're getting here, we're getting the physique together, we're getting the beard together, but spiritually and mentally as well. Make sure you're following me there. Also check out elegantsavagery.com. So much, so much dope stuff coming there. I can't wait to show you all. Uh, but I'm not going to keep you all any longer. I appreciate you all. This has been the Savage Beard Grove Journey, week 11 or 12. And I'll see y'all next week when we get some of this exfoliating in. Yeah.